Hello YouTube, this is a video about setting up M uh, MPI um, clusters on my virtual machines within the Dell uh, C6100. So I'm remote, doing remote desktop connection from Mac to my Dell servers at the University of Birmingham through the VPN. Can connect anyways and we are in this is the Windows 2008 and we'll just show you how we can set up VirtualBox for a, um, a cluster of four nodes using MPI CH2 so I'm going to name this Ubuntu master that's the one that I will control and it will be 64-bit Okay, I'm going to set the RAM size as got lots of RAM. So I'm going to set it as eight gigabytes. Create a hard disk VDI dynamically allocated. Could be fixed size, but um, I'm going to have it as dynamically allocated. Starting off with sixteen. Uh, gigabytes all right and so that is that is the master now the master uh, Ubuntu will be downloaded from the Ubuntu 13.10 source salamander and I use the 64-bit PC desktop image so I've downloaded that and that's that's that but for the um, slave nodes, we don't really need Ubuntu slave A. We don't really need the user interface, so what I will do is download the mini.iso uh, mini installer. But let me just set this up first. Okay, I'm going to pu pull it up to 8 gigabytes, create the hard disk with a VDI dynamically allocated to and starting off with um, 16 gigabytes no let's put it okay we can change that later I'm gonna put it as 8 gigabytes first Right, and for Ubuntu Slave A, we can actually right mouse click and clone them. Okay, three times, including that one. So that's Slave B. It's going to be a full clone. Um, did I do something wrong there? Let me just do it again. Delete all files. New Ubuntu Slave A. No, it's going to be B. Or did I actually create it? No, I'm going to just clone it. Okay, clone. Slave B. What we have to do is to reinitialize the MAC address of all network cards. Okay, make sure that it's checked. Full clone. And we will clone it again. Okay, now C. Reinitialize the MAC address of all network cards is checked, full clone, and there we have it. So for these three nodes, okay, we will not use the full installer. Instead, we will use the minimal CD from here, minimal CD. The 64-bit PC version, not the PowerPad PC, the PC version AMD 64x86 uh, underscore 64. And that's the CD I downloaded right here. VirtualBox is downloaded here from the Oracle Virtual Machine uh, website. So we've got three files, and after installing the VirtualBox, I set up the Ubuntu Master, set up one Ubuntu Slate A, and clone them. Right, so for the, what I will do is to go to the settings for Ubuntu. Uh, master 
get to the storage and load that CD that we need. Okay, got it there, but let's choose. So this is the CD with the full desktop version with all the GUIs um, in, in Ubuntu, and that's a mini CD with no GUI, but just a terminal. And let's load it. Um, what, we, what we have to do um, further is to define the network card. So this will connect to the internet. We need another one that connects to the internal network. So this talks to the other slave nodes, right? And that's all you have to do. Okay, um, we can go back to the system, get to the, we don't need the floppy drive, we get to the processor. As you can see, I've got 32 CPUs. Let me just increase this to four CPUs. Okay, press OK. And now I'm going to set up Ubuntu Slave. I just, could have just cloned it uh, after, after all these settings, but it doesn't matter. Go to the MT and load the mini ISO. Okay, get back to the system. Processor, change it to 4. So both the master node and the slave node have 4 processors. And the network adapter, the second adapter that connects to the others, will be internal network. Okay, and it's all set. So we're going to repeat with all these settings. Storage, load the mini ISO. Network adapter, play vault with the internal network system processor for okay and you will repeat also on slave c system processor for we don't need a floppy um, but it doesn't really matter uh, mt would set it as media iso network adapter Enable adapter, and that's fine. That's got a floppy just to be consistent. It doesn't really matter, but just to be consistent. Let's uncheck that. Okay, now <coughs> you will boot up all these virtual machines and start installing. And it's really simple. Um, I've got another video uh, that does that specifically. Um, you can check that out. Um, links below, but that's what you have to do to start installing. Um, okay, and then we shall soon set up uh, MPICH and show you um, the calculation of pi over all these nodes.